Hey guys, it's Nina, and today I am celebrating my four year YouTube anniversary, which is insane. Okay, <laughs> this is happening. So today is officially the anniversary of the day that I uploaded my first YouTube video to this channel, which is pretty amazing. I have officially been doing this for as long as high school. Four years. That's crazy. And I have changed so much over this experience and just so many things that I want to talk to you guys all about today. So I thought the perfect way to do that is to do the not a booktube newbie tag, which is both true because I would hope I'm not a newbie anymore at this point, but also the first video that I ever uploaded on this platform was the booktube newbie tag. So things have kind of come full circle and I thought it would be very fitting to do this and also I really liked the questions so I think this is a great way to look back at the last four years. And fun fact, I was actually tagged in this tag by Abigail D over a year ago but like hey I'm finally getting around to it so that's also cool. So without further ado let's get started. So question number one, how old is your channel? Four years, we've been through this. Question number two, what are your favorite videos to make? My two favorite kinds of videos are tags and discussions for kind of similar and yet different reasons. I like them both basically because I think they're the most creative videos and I just feel really satisfied after making both of them. Tags I like because they have a specific structure. You have certain questions that you have to answer and everyone's answering the same questions. So you just have, it's like having an outline for an essay already done for you, which is so nice. But then because you have that outline, it allows you to be so creative within the bounds of that outline. And I have a lot of fun like playing around with that, trying to come up with jokes and just like, letting my personality shine within that set structure. But I love discussion videos for the exact opposite reason, where there is no structure at all. There's no outline, you're on your own, you just kind of ramble and hope that things make sense after editing. And I find that I do really well with that because I love the process of filming a discussion video, then starting to edit it, realizing that it's trash, scrapping it, refilming it, re-editing it, maybe refilming it again. It's a process, but I love videos like that because I think it challenges me and I think I grow as a person in order to go through that creative process, I guess. I don't know, I just love both of them because I think it allows myself to shine the most. Question number three, what is one piece of advice that you would give to someone who is just starting out on booktube or wants to join? So I feel like the advice that you always get with this question is to just be yourself and be genuine and people will follow you but I'm gonna kind of give the opposite advice because I know for me, when I was first starting out on this platform, I did not know who I was. And the advice of sitting in front of my camera alone in my room and just being myself in front of it was not helpful at all because I was like, what does that mean? So my real advice to you is to experiment. Watch other people's videos, see, pick out traits of things that you like about people. Is it the way they dress? Is it the way they do their lighting? Is it the way they talk, the way they edit their videos? Like what do you like about certain people and what do you gravitate towards? And then try applying those to your videos. And that also goes towards content. Like some people prefer to do the videos that get the most views and are the most popular and more mainstream things. And some people like to be creative and come up with new ideas and like try both. See what sticks and acknowledge that things don't have to stick. You can change whatever you want about your channel at any point in the game. I've been doing this for four years. God knows I have changed a lot over the past four years, both in content and in just myself, how I present myself, who I am, just everything. And that's okay. <laughs> so just take this as a journey to improve in something that's a fun hobby and just have fun with it. That is my number one thing is just to have fun with it go in with an open mind and just be friendly to people and you, you'll you have fun, I guarantee it. Also, do not think too much about the numbers because damn, just, just don't, do not, I do not recommend. <laughs> Question four, since joining, have you run into any unforeseen challenges? Oh yeah, for sure. I've run into many challenges. Again, it's been four years, like you don't, no one does any hobby or anything for four years without running into challenges and anyone who says that they have is lying or just ridiculously optimistic. When I first started out, my main challenge was definitely subscriber count and letting that get to my head a little bit too much because the numbers weren't growing as fast as I wanted them to and as fast as other people who like started at the same time as me, like their numbers were. So that definitely got to me a bit and that was very frustrating. But as I've grown as a person, as a channel, just in general, that has 
less affected me, definitely, and I think I'm at that point where I am fully confident in my videos. But starting out, that was definitely my biggest struggle. My biggest struggle now is definitely being consistent. That has been the most long-standing struggle with this channel, is I am just a horribly inconsistent person. Part of it is that I'm a perfectionist, and like, as I mentioned before, sometimes I will refilm videos two or three times just to get them perfect before I upload them. But other times, it's just like, I let really stupid excuses stop me from filming, like, oh, I could film now, but like, what if my roommate comes home? I better not film just in case she does. Or the lighting isn't perfect today. Or my hair isn't perfect. Or just like little things that add up. Or, you know, like life in school and other things that are actual issues. But just being inconsistent is my biggest like flaw with this channel, for sure. I think the only other unforeseen challenge that I had was like a year ago when there was a lot of booktube drama going on. Thankfully, that's all died down, but that was definitely a time in my life where I was not feeling very enthusiastic about booktube, but that's all blown over, so it's fine. Moving on. <laughs> Question number five, what is a favorite book or book series that you've read because of booktube? I could really go with so much for this question because about 90% of what I read these days is because of booktube. So just to pick a few, like The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer, one of my favorite series of all time, The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J Maas, or really any Sarah J Maas book, Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, which is pretty much my current favorite right now. There's just so many other things, but basically any book that I talk about a lot and that I love that I didn't read pre high school or like pre booktube, I read because of booktube. And question number six, overall, what is your favorite aspect of booktube? So I know the right answer for this, and I know I'm supposed to say it's the friends that I've made and the people that I've met and all of that, which is true. That is one of my top favorite things about this platform and this experience. But my overall favorite thing about booktube is how it has shaped me as an individual and how it has changed me as a person. Because as I said earlier, I was a very shy, quiet person towards the end of high school. And like, I still am a quieter person, but I'm so much more self-assured than I was. And part of that, of course, is due to the fact that I started this at the end of high school and I'm now almost done with college and just kind of going through that usual adolescence phase of my life. But I think most of the confidence and self-security that I have now as a person is because of making YouTube videos and going through, again, that process of filming myself alone in my room and just talking it out and then editing myself and seeing the little quirks and different things that I do as a person and becoming more okay and used to that. And that is just something that has been completely invaluable over the past four years because it's completely changed my amount of self-confidence and just, I don't know, helps me be a better version of myself, I guess. And question number seven is to share the love and shout out some new booktubers, which I'm actually not gonna do because I haven't been following many new people lately, so I don't know of any like new booktubers to shout out. But I will leave a list of some of my favorite people down below that have been doing this for a while or not that long of a while that I have just come to be some of my greatest friends on here. And as always, if you go to my normal like YouTube page, I have a list of friends on the side who you should all check out. Because even though my favorite thing about booktube is how it has changed me, that would not be possible with the overwhelming positive support of all of these lovely people that I'm gonna put down below and on the side. And I just would not be the same person without any of you. So thank you so much for watching. That is basically the end of this video. I'm not gonna tag anyone because this video, this tag has been going around for years at this point. But that is it. Let me know down below any of your thoughts. Give this a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe. And I will see you guys later with another video soon. Bye.